All right, guys, welcome back to Mesopotamia, start to finish. Uh, I am in position for my first push into the oil field. Now, I will be the first person to attack, which means uh, if um, I've been communicating with a guy, um, one of the things I do try to do in this map, if I can, is get shared vision with someone far away from me. And a lot of times, at least one person will say, okay, you know, why not? I'll, I'll keep an eye on what you're doing. I'll see what you're doing. You can see what I'm doing. We're not any immediate threat to each other. I reached out to somebody in both of these other quadrants and they just ignored me. So not interested, apparently. Um, a lot is going on over here. You can tell Ramadi has been attacked by two countries. See, oh, if I could be in that quadrant, oh, what a joy that would be. Because I could attack right in here and take it after two countries have gone to war. Man, that will have worn it down quite a bit. So this one is probably going to be taken by some intrepid person soon. This one is still standing. And, uh, of course, the guy I'm in contact with over here is standing. Anyway, um, he said that he had spies that had um, that had looked into the garrison and that they saw 200 infantry and 10 cannon. So that's quite significant. That is quite a uh, killer arrangement. So my plan here is, uh, as I attack in, I've got to attack the side provinces first. In that way, I can tighten up my profile. So I can go from, I believe, seven countries bordering here to just four. Um, I've got this one stacked with 17, and all these backcountry guys are coming in. So I think another seven or eight are coming in here. So I should have around 25 here. That is a level two, almost level two building to that. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack in here. You can see I've got my original four cannon and then my first three. There's three more building now, but it's time. The time is now. I'm going to go ahead and attack in here. And uh, take just a couple cars, um, but leave eight cars behind. That's 16 infantry worth of guys left behind with a double um, fortress here. And I'm going to attack directly into here. And when I do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue around to here. And this is neutral, Germany, East Africa. I'm not at war with Germany, East Africa. That's that other guy who's at war with the Soviet Union here. So once I take these two... I can bring all of these guys, and there's going to be, I think, about 17 in each of these streaming in some guys. Oh, there's more guys over here. Um, there's going to be about 17 in each of these. So those two will be able to move forward and man this front and this front. They'll kind of move forward. So that's the plan of attack. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, you know, if you've seen me in the past, I coordinate precisely to deal with any potential cannon stacks in here. I'm going to have to be worried or concerned about some cannon coming out at me from this area. Um, so what I might do is just leave one cannon behind. I'm, I really haven't decided how to handle this. Maybe I'll leave two cannon behind. Yeah, I'll leave two behind. It's enough to attack in with five to here, I believe. We'll find out. So let's go ahead and split this stack right now. I'm going to go ahead and take 200. And I'll leave behind, as I mentioned, a nice uh, amount of cars here. I'll take five. Um, I'll just take two cars in. So I've got 13 infantry and eight, which is basically 16. So pretty much 30. I'm leaving behind a strength of 30. I'm going to take in these um, strong fighters here in my cavalry and attack. So yes, I do want to continue. Let's go. Now, once I do this, immediately I want to break this apart and I want to get everything forward so i don't hold anything back because i know he doesn't have any bombers so all my infantry and well, i'll leave my cars with this yeah they're defensive i mean basically using these offensively is is a misuse um, the main reason i have them here is because if these two die in my initial attack I want a speedy unit that I can race in. We've talked about that in the past. If you can run in a unit um, after you've cleared after you've cleared this out by bombing it out, run in a fast unit so that it takes it over. That way the rest of your units are no longer moving on enemy territory. They're moving on friendly territory, and you're much faster. You're three times faster um, if you're moving on friendly as opposed to enemy territory. Okay, now's where things come. Uh, you have to be very careful. So this is going to hit at 1243. This is going to hit at 305. I need for my infantry to hit first because if there are any cannon here, I need my infantry to engage in combat so that their cannon will be rendered useless. 
That's hugely important. So the ideal attack is for your for your main big infantry st uh, stack to attack, and then your cannon to come right back in like one minute later and start shelling in and really adding that damage to the overall situation. So if this is going to get there at 305, I need to take my cannon stack and delay it to 305. So not too difficult to do. It's a little touchy. Um, 302, 309. It's going to have to be 309. So it, it's it's not fine there. You can't, It's it usually jumps around, but 305 to 309, that's okay. Um, you know, after the initial attack and defense, it's then like another 40 minutes before the next attack. So as long as my cannon attack in ASAP, that's in this case is going to be five minutes after that, then that'll be just fine. Okay, so there's really nothing else to talk about at this point. Um, I'll come back. I think, you know, as soon as I make that attack, I'll continue on and make this attack. Um, I'll probably leave two cannon behind in each of these, just in case there are counterattacks outwards. And again, as soon as I take this second territory over, I can start to stream in uh, these back infantry to reinforce that front. I'm a little concerned about what's going to happen over here. Um, I have lost outer territories as I've attacked into the garrison, and uh, that's okay. You can take them back later. Um, the main thing is getting these garrison territories and start to really build up factories, railways, get those double production tiles humming. You can see I'm going to get two iron. That's great. Iron are very useful for tanks and for uh, cannon and uh, for forts. So having two, I, I love it that I've got two double iron, double wood there, good for railroads. Of course, the, the super double oil, this is basically a quadruple oil. Look at that, 11,000, um, and, and it doesn't have a, a, a railway or any other, probably a level one or level two, level one. So a lot more development is, is going to happen here. It's going to bring that 11,000 up to maybe 17 eventually. And then a double wheat. It's always nice to have a double wheat. You can see I started this with a double iron and a double fish and a double wood. So if anything, I'm a little energy weak. I don't have any double gas and I don't have any double uh, coal. But honestly, gas and coal are the two that you use less than the, than the oil. And of course, I've got this crucial quadruple oil here if I get it. Okay. Thanks for tuning in guys. Next time I see you, hopefully I'll be taking this second territory and streaming in these additional men and uh, hopefully things go well. We'll see. I, you know, I may come back after the initial attack because you'll see, man, this dude goes nuts. I mean, the in interior here just starts swarming. So I might come back and show you some of that. It's kind of fun. All right. Adios amigos. See you next time. Uh, thanks for checking in.